Welcome back to another episode of Mob Cycle. We're about to pop off this episode because Mob, the second founder, the original founder, he's the first founder actually of the Psycho Hell religion, is about to walk to the Divine Tree and confront Dimple. How is it gonna turn out? Man, I think one of the most interesting things right now is what's going on with Reagan. Is he or is he not under the influence of the Psycho Helmet religion? Here's what I think. They threw us for a little loop at the end when Mob was confronting Reagan. Are you brainwashed too? And Reagan's like, hmm, me? I don't know. You tell me. He is the scam artist. He is the OG scam artist that should be honestly leading a cult. That's the perfect, you know, use of his skills. I think that with his skill set, being able to influence people and be able to talk out of anything, I think he will be a critical player in this arc. I'm not sure exactly how, but just because I think someone like him would not simply be under the influence of the Psycho Helmet religion. I think they're gonna fake us out, and it's gonna be like, Reagan's gonna like, Here's what I think is gonna happen. I think Reagan is gonna act like he is worshiping the divine tree and everyone's gonna fall for it, even Mob. It's like, oh my God, Reagan, you're brainwashed too. But no, no, Reagan is inside doing his thing and he's gonna be a key player and an MVP in this arc is my guess. It's only episode five and we're already confronting the, the uh, divine tree and Dimple, right? This is like the 12 episode, 13 episode season. I think this is like the midpoint where we're going to get a pretty early climax. And then something's going to fall out. I don't think the... Obviously, it's not going to conclude in this episode. And then the rest of the season is going to build out towards what Reagan's going to be doing. Or I'm just talking to my ass. Let's begin the episode. Sure, their hearts peace. Yep, it's nothing about you, right? It's about the people, of course. Sure. We just, I'm just making, hey, at least he's being honest. At least he's being honest. There he is. Oh, Mob's looking pretty serious. Dimple, there he is. He knows. What do you mean? Everyone would turn on Mob. Everybody in the city. That's the dangerous thing. It's not necessarily Dimple. It's every normal person in the city turning on Mob. What could he? What could Mob do about that? Yeah, this is... Reagan has to do something. Could Reagan sway everybody from Dimple's influence somehow? And he that's how he clutches in this season? Because Mob can't just beat Dimple. Everybody's gonna turn on him. This is why I think Reagan is so instrumental this, to the season. Doesn't matter also, his body just gets... Come, it just comes back. Teru, you're gonna fight him? Teru, come on, man. It's been a while since we fought, huh? In season one, I think this is one of the first serious fights that we've ever had against another Esper. Oof. And Teru is quite strong. But how do we make this snap out of it? We can't! They're all zombies! Sad to see him like this when he was just like fighting against it so hard last episode. Knock him out. That was too easy. You just locked him? You just locked him? Just frozen? Yeah? Okay, bye. Oh, he broke free. Is Dimple possessing him? There's some kind of green aura. Maybe I'm looking too deep in it. Godly powers. And that's another thing. They keep borrowing power from this infinite source of divine tree, right? So, that really can compete with Mob. Oh, this is even more dangerous set against the Claws boss, where the Claws boss also gave other people their his power, right? But the Divine Tree seems to be some kind of just infinite source. It's pretty terrifying. I was really wondering, how are they going to surpass Season 2's worth of threats? Like, they had Claw. And now that after we beat their boss and all that crazy fights, how can we compete on that level of, like, action and hype? The Divine Tree. Uh... Still not a hundred yet. Still not a hundred yet. What is it? Are you suddenly admiring Mob? That was to Mob, not Dimple, was it? Oh, come on, you can close it up. Yeah, you can just close it up. Come on, man. Big boy. What doesn't matter about the size at the end of the day? 
So easy, but it just forms back. What do we do? And it just multiplies looking like black sperm from One Punch Man now. Because we did, then the arc would be over, right? You gotta, of course, hide, man. You're too strong. Almost at 100, guys. Come on. Almost there. Hmm? Of course! Who wouldn't be? <laughs> Especially Dimple. He's one of the first guys she took out. Feel like what? Almost 100%? Come on, I want you to feel the rage. Show me. Oh. It's crying. Why are you grabbing your chest like that? You're not getting a heart attack. What's going on? Is the divine tree just sucking up all his powers? Mm, that's another thing we can't really compete against the divine tree. Like, what do we do about this? Is Dimple finally showing himself? He has. But now that you've showed yourself, aren't you vulnerable? Mob, do something. That's our weakness. That's a big weakness. Don't use the Bumi like that. Dimple, that's cheap. And Sumi does that, Mob might actually fall in line. Still have energy. We still haven't hit 100 yet. It's fine. I hope. He's got the, like, the Super Saiyan hair now. Whenever he gets his hair all not like a bowl cut like mine, he, it's when he's super cool, right? You don't have to remind us, dude. You don't have to remind us. I know! We never had a chance! She's too kind to reject us. Maybe I'm being too cynical, but I just feel like Tsubomi is never going to give Mob the time of her day. I mean, she would, but it's not going to be anything romantic. How does she get brainwashed then? She does. So it's not about like psychic power, it's about like one's willpower, one's like conviction. Yeah, she, never... she thought it was cool, but I guess it wasn't too much. Yeah. Yeah, two has got our own goals going on, and it's fine. Right, it's fine. That's completely normal. But Ma Dimple, you don't have to remind us. We have. You don't have to remind us. She's out of her league, man. No, even this, that wouldn't be right. That would not be right. Brainwashing it to sue me. That's the lowest of lows. I feel like he still could. Get out of here, <laughs> bitch. Slap. Mm, 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 mm. What? Is this gonna do anything? <laughs> kindness? You call this kindness? Dimple does look quite menacing though. Golden Dimple? This has to be influenced by. It's God Dimple. This has to be influenced by Golden Sperm in One Punch Man, right? It's the same author. In fact, it might be the other way around because Mob Psycho's written. Before One Punch Man, so Golden Spur might be an inspiration of God Dimple. I'm not sure what came first, like which got drawn first. This is pretty sick. Does it do any damage? Does it do any damage? You're just making go almost 200. Nah, not even close. Nah, look at his face. Couple more moves and he should be at 100. What's all these physical attacks? <laughs> Pretty cool, Dimple. Yo, why is he so cheeked up? Look at Dimple's ass. This god Dimple's ass is really cheeked up. A man has not skipped glute day. Was that the limit of his power? Mm, is it though? I don't know. That's just because we didn't exceed the limit. Does he have a limit? I don't know. I don't think so. I think this is a big uh, assumption that he's going to fuck up on. Oh, I haven't shown you mine yet. Yeah? You're not impressed by it? I mean, it's pretty cool. The real dimple. Huh. What is the real dimple, though? The dimple that we knew in like season 1 and season 2 where he seemed reformed? Or this dimple where he just went back to his roots to being a cult leader? Are we trying to save dimple? Oh. 
Oh, oh, it's gonna be a hyper beam. Oh, okay. Mob. That's a direct hit. It, it'll be fine. It'll, it'll be, it'll be fine. Come on. That, that, that was actually pretty crazy though. No, it's gonna be fine. It's just a generic beam. Mob. See, you cared for a second. See, Pimple's like, oh no. Still not at 100. We're only at 99. Want to be a cliffhanger to 100. Man. See, you made a mistake thinking he has a limit. Who knows what his limit is? All those instances where you thought that he didn't have a limit, he just didn't have the time to ramp up. Show me. Show me. This is the real dimple speaking his feelings though. I don't think he's gonna go back. Can he really be reformed? Thank you for being honest. Is this the end? But can you really get rid of dimple that easily? You say full psychic power, but all I see is just more physical power. <laughs> you can't even reach him. Oh, his monkey shirt! <laughs> see? <laughs> ah! Wait. Did he stop because it was such a ridiculous shirt? <laughs> is the monkey shirt actually coming into play right now? No! That's another episode of Mob Psycho. I... No, I... I the monkey shirt that we got together... The one that everyone ridiculed us for. It comes out at this moment at the peak of the hype and it stops God Dimple. Maybe it was for the best. I never expected the fight to get stopped by the monkey shirt, but it's a ridiculous picture. Ah, uh, this makes me think that the way that Bob is talking, it really makes me think that maybe there is redemption for Dimple, even to this point. Maybe Dimple isn't the final boss. Maybe even Dimple, without himself knowing, is being used by the Divine Tree. Hmm. I I don't know where this, how, what the direction of this arc is going. I thought that maybe Mob might get defeated here and then um, join everybody as brainwashed zombies, and then Reagan snaps. Every, Reagan like takes like as an undercover agent, acting like he's brainwashed, somehow becomes the founder. I don't know, and then dissolves the arc this way. But I don't know. I I don't know. But we finally had. Our most action-packed episode. Mob Cycle it usually takes a couple episodes to get ramped up in the seasons. Like, the first couple episodes are set up, and then suddenly we start getting action. And then every episode after that is pretty hype. That's what happened in season two and a little bit of season one. So, I'm expecting some good shit for the rest of the season. If you stick down on this song, if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to like push out my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.